All right, hello everybody. Uh, I am Elegy. We're gonna go ahead and do some more laddering. Uh, this time, again with the sand team. It's the same day that I uh, recorded and uploaded my last video, so I do these sort of on a, a record them, play them basis. So if you don't like this team, if you're bored, then uh, let me know and I'll change it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so we're rocking the same sand team. Uh, I know. I just want to get into the groove of making videos. Quick plug, the music in this video and the last video were made by my good friend Elijah Sultan on SoundCloud. Uh, go ahead and check him out, I'll leave a link to him in the description. Uh, he's also on Spotify, so yeah, check him out, he makes yeah, bangers. I think, I think my just normal Togekiss Dragapult Sand can probably beat him. Um, Dragapult will take care of the Rotom Wash. Uh, it's gonna take all of them to take care of the Snorlax, but they can do it. Excadrill can kill. The Togekiss, the question becomes whether or not I want to lead Tyranitar, because I might just want to lead Tyranitar, follow me, and then um, get some kills that way. I'm going to time or two just to make sure I don't time out, because timing out has been a problem for me lately. Um, but yeah, so what I can do is I can um, start trying to sweep with Dragapult, and when he brings up his sweep checks, namely uh, Mimikyu, uh, uh, Togekiss, those are two big checks to the Dragapult sweep. His own Dragapult is a check up until uh, Follow Me gets off, so he can lead Mimikyu Dragapult and try to do something like Trick Room and attack, and then switch to uh, Snorlax. Um, that's just one of many scenarios he could do, probably not that ex a specific one, but that's just something we gotta be ready for, uh, because that could be a really strong gate plan. Uh, that he could be coming out with. Uh, also just follow me, redirection in Trick Room. Um, if he does that, I'll probably Phantom Force to burn Trick Room turns right off the bat. Uh, if he leads with the follow me Trick Room. And then we're gonna just have to worry about the, T or the Snorlax. I think we'll just kill all of its friends first, which is always fun to do. Um, and then we'll switch to T-Tar and superpower it. Okay, um, so he did lead. Uh, trick room. My bad wasn't paying attention. It's fine, dude. I'm not recording or anything. Uh, but we can just Dazzling Gleam and go for a Phantom Force. Um, he'll get Trick Room up. Is there any way to stop that? No, not really. I can't really stop Trick Room from coming up here. Um, but I can just Phantom Force. <laughs> that does hella. And then he does get the Trick Room up. Uh, so he is not choice guard for Odom Wash, so he can switch it, switch his move. I'm going to need Excadrill to the very end, so um, we could bust out T-Tar now. Okay, I should have been worried about that. Ally switch, obviously, it, it's an ass breaker for sure. Um, the problem here is he can just predict the switch. Also, a player off will probably just kill. Yeah. Um, I think I have to attack with Dragapult. I might just be able to beat this Mimikyu, would be si which would be sick. Yeah, let's just do this. But I'm just, I'm working on attacking. Alright, let's live this attack. Oh, I'm faster. Did you reverse Trick Room? What? Why? Sick! <laughs> Why would you do that? Gosh, this dude really must not be paying attention. Oh, because he ran out of time. Oh, the poor guy. I'm trying to make a video, dude. Stop doing this. Let's max Steel Spike, actually, because I know I can kill this Dragapult. Okay, Clippers1235, please start paying attention. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this dude is not focusing on this game. He's making such... I, I don't want to say bad play. Yeah, no, he's making freaking awful plays. Okay, there's his Excadrill, Smold Breaker. Um, I don't want him to be Sash. That's a kill, sick. Uh, this should be game. 
because now my Excadrill comes in, I'm faster. Um, he could protect. Okay, if he goes for EQ, then I'm kind of screwed, potentially. Okay, he didn't. Game over. Good game, let's go get another one. Uh, let's see, so this is Follow Me Blizzard uh, with this to take out fire types. This also resists and uh, is pretty good against fire types. Um, intimidate. Intimidate spam with Gyarados is pretty strong, so we're gonna have to bring Rotom. Um, Titar Excadrill looks pretty strong against this team too. He's got a lot of weak to it, but that's why he's got the Intimidate Spam. So he'll, he might bring Intimidate Spam and then two Mons that are weak to Excadrill. Um, so we're going to want it in the back. As for the Mons we lead with, I mean Dragapult's a pretty powerful lead. We could lead Dragapult Excadrill. Um, which is what I want to do. Titar and Rotom in the back. And what we can do is we can just switch. See, like this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. So we go into Titar. Well, he can fake out the Excadrill, which would suck. Yeah, I don't want him faking out the Excadrill. But after this play, we can go for a max steel spike and max rock fall. Or no. A max steel spike and a rock slide. Yeah. Um, to live whatever uh, close combat move he has. I don't know. I really want to... Actually, I want to keep Tyranitar around. So, I could just Dynamax here. with Dragapult, Phantom Force, and go for a Max Steel Spike, which might be kind of sick. Or a Max Rock Fall, even. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. And then Max Airstream misses, so that's, that's nice. Uh, he can Max Guard here, which would kind of suck for me. But I also really can't have him attacking. So I'm just gonna pretend like he's not gonna max guard. Sick. And then this Phantom Force eh, might not kill. Yeah, that's not gonna kill, which kinda blows. And uh, yeah, that, that really blows. Uh, should be okay though. I mean, we just max Steel Spike again, go for a T Bolt. Although he might just switch to uh, that one Pokemon, <laughs> uh, hit him on top. Uh, I'm still going to T-Bolt anyways. I'm not really worried about the repercussions. And Max Steel Spec's just going to boost our defense before he can do anything. Okay, like I don't care. That did a lot of damage, but now he loses Gyarados. And that's his best check to Excadrill. And Togekiss dies too to Sandship, so now he's got Vanillix out. Um, we're gonna want to switch out into the Titar right now. Now the question is whether or not we want to uh, attack the Hitmontop. Yeah, I'm gonna attack the Hitmontop because worst case scenario, I get uh, Excadrill cycled back in, and I can put pressure on the Hitmontop. Yeah, because I figured he might just close combat. Freeze dry. Yeah. So that, that would have really sucked if I protected, because then I'd just be like, you know, stuck. But now I can uh, go for an Iron Head. Well, does Iron Head kill? Probably, but I just want to make sure. I don't think it has protect. I'm not definitely not adamant uh, choice band. Let's see, Iron Head does like 50. Yeah, it should be good. Oh, well, that's with Choice Band. And it should still be good. 
That's how I figure Pokemon games. Sick, so we win. Iron Head for the kill. Excadrill going ahead and sweeping. Dude, like I told you that I was trying to use this team to get better with using Excadrill, and I think I'm really getting good with Excadrill, so that's super sick. Um, where are we on the ladder? Like, I'm kind of climbing it a little bit. I'm at 1650. That's not bad. Alright. Let's get one more. This T-Tar doesn't feel like a good Mon. It really just feels like a sand setter for Excadrill, which does feel like a good Mon, which is nice. And I know this team. I have a poke face to this team. I could literally bring it up right now. Let's see. Uh, how do I beat this? It's control. It's like heavy control. It's super bulky. Um... Like, he's probably going to want to bring Sylveon. He's definitely going to want to bring Sylveon. And then these two. Maybe even these four to check Sand. Because th this is really strong against Sand right here. Um, we don't have a Fire type. Uh, we don't have anything to beat that, actually. Except our Arcanine, maybe. Oh, God. Are we going to have to bring Arcanine this game? Arcanine might be kind of good. I know this is Dragon Dance, so... Or it's Lum. I know that. So... Uh, we could just Dragon Dance and Sweep. That's a, always a possibility, and uh, it's one of my favorites. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll bring... Uh, I don't want to bring Arcanine Rotom. I think those are... Well... Yeah, let's go ahead and bring our Fire Water. Fire Water Dragon Core. See, like, this would, this is not good for me. Um, but it can be okay. Let's see, Max Steel Spike and Helping Hand. Let's see if this kills. Boost our defense. Now he's got a switch, right? Yeah, he's got a switch. This is all really okay. Yeah, so he's gonna tailwind. That's really fine. Um, Cause now I can max Phantasm this Rotom. Helping hand max Phantasm will get the kill. That does a lot. Oh, but it's a crit. Taunt. It's literally fine. That's gonna kill. Sick. Um, okay, it's 20 speed, so it's not gonna outspeed Dragon. Well, it might. Eh, we'll see. I have plus two defense, so I live that. Oh, but it doesn't kill. That's too bad. I really thought it was gonna kill. Okay, well, now we, uh, Flamethrower, T-Bolt. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this is the Wakanberry version. One of them has a Healing Berry, and one of them has a Wakanberry. And then it's Ferrothorn, which is awesome. We love to see it. Does Mandibuzz have Protect? Freaking no. So we're gonna double Mandibuzz. I don't think that's the case. Flamethrower is not going to kill. Oh, it doesn't even come close. But I get a, such a lucky burn. Wow, I am so lucky. That that this game should be over in his... Well, no, because I would have just... Okay, okay. I, I sound like an apologist, but I would have just healed with my Aya Papa Berry. And I would have just got been able to 3-hit KO him. Okay, so don't, don't come at me saying I only won because of this Flamethrower burn. It was lucky. Like, I'm gonna survive that because of the Flamethrower burn, but I was already gonna, yeah. I was already gonna recover the Eye Papa Berry. I was already gonna get up to here. It would have just been closer. Okay, that did not matter. Thank you. Well played. He understands. He gets it. He knows that that was just a good win. Thank you. Thank you for understanding subspecies. He gets it. 1770, he knew I was just gonna heal with the Eye Papa Berry. So thank you. Thank you, subspecies. I believe you are above our species. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get off now. Uh, this was actually a good episode. I got a couple of wins. I don't think I lost any recording, so that's sick. This team, I'm really feeling it, actually. I really like it. Um, let me pull it up. This is all of my teams, dude. Like, I can't sleep at night. <laughs> I just I just think about teams and I build them. Okay, well, that's where it ends but uh yeah no it's really really tough here's ted anchor it's not a good one um yeah no this team i'm really feeling it i really like it um there are definitely some aspects that need to be fixed but it's overall been really good to me so uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead finish the episode say goodbye because goodbyes are so hard for me it takes so long to say goodbye so 
fight. Wait, wait, wait. 